the history of science, uh, mostly focused on uh, European science starting in ancient Greece in 600 BC, give or take, and finishing about 1850. Ideally, we get to Darwin's uh, origin of species. And again, it's, it's art, it's history, it's, uh, it's, it's politics, it's religion, um, all of those things in relation to the history of science. Mm -hmm. We usually do a mix, I and my, my co-teachers, uh, over the course of a full year with the two sections of the sequence each semester. Uh, we do a good deal of writing, a mix of shorter assignments, especially focused on critical thinking, logical reasoning type skills early on, uh, and then a little bit more on, on research and integrating different aspects of the course, bringing literature into contact with art, mm -hmm. art and literature into contact with science. We have usually what's called an integrative paper, uh, which does just that, and that's usually a, a, a bigger research paper that's due at the end of the semester. It goes to both of us for grading. Mm -hmm. The title of the sequence is The History of Science, mm -hmm. um, and so I think maybe some students come in thinking it's going to be all about science mm -hmm. or all about the history of science. Yeah. Some might even be hoping to get out of that <laughs> humanity stuff <laughs> and take a course that's mostly about science, but we'll cover their you know, some of their other foundation kind of requirements here at GBSU. Um, and it's not that. It is, a, it is a course in history, in literature, in philosophy, in art, uh, and in the history of science as a unifying theme for all of those things. Uh, and so, you know, be prepared to read a novel or a play or some poems, to analyze a painting, uh, to talk about interminable theological disputes of the 12 and 1300s mm -hmm. um, because all those things uh, were part and parcel of the story of science and that's the kind of story we're telling. So there's a different kind of class maybe that you could take that would be just the history of science. That's not really it. And I'd, I'd add all the sequences in the Honors College I think are like that. They have a title mm -hmm. that's a, either a time period or a particular topic, but in all of them it is this integrated approach, yeah. multidisciplinary approach, and uh, forewarned is forearmed. You know, yes. those, are, those are the expectations I would just uh, warn people about. I think they're the one I've seen the most. Even And the typical mm -hmm. response is students say, I, I enjoyed what I got out of this class, what I did, but it wasn't <laughs> what I thought it would yeah. be. And it's usually this issue that the, the, they thought there would be more mm -hmm. or different history of science than uh, we do. It's there, I want to yeah. stress, it's there. <laughs> You're going to learn more about Galileo in this sequence than you probably will in any other of the sequences I know of right yeah. now. But it's still not the only thing yeah. in that broader context.